And in the principle of progression, I'm just going to read some of this here to you. The practitioner starts small and gradually increases. As the practitioner grows, the load must be increased to obtain continued growth. Right? Now, I talk, well, actually I have it in there too, that the principle or the law of the, uh, is, is the law of progressive overload. Okay, we talk about that during the Laws of Spiritual Growth. It's out there in the bookstore. If you get it, you should go through it. It will give you how to go through some of these things. Now, if you're going to have an inc continued growth, then there has to be uh, progress. Hence, that's the growth. And the more you progress, then the more uh, overload you have to have. Right? In other words, it has to, the intensity or the amount has to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay? Now... When you do that, okay, uh, in the principle of progress, the optimal pattern for growth is to gradually increase, okay? Now, this principle works in literally every area. And it's amazing because you can have two opposite principles and both work. I'll, I'll explain that. For example, uh, you learn about healing, okay? And you might want to start practicing healing with a headache. You might not want to jump into cancer, I'm not talking about you necessarily, but I'm talking about ministering to somebody. Now, here's the thing. You, most people want to start small. If somebody, if you learn about healing, you say, okay, I want, I, I, you know, I've learned about healing and I want to minister to somebody. And then somebody walks up and says, you know, uh, or you see them, you say, hey, have you got anything I can pray for you? Well, yeah, I've got four stage cancer. You might want to go, um, hang on, let me make a phone call. And because I, I, that's, that's too big for me at this point. Right? Or let me get somebody that's dealt with this before, because this is, this is big, right? So there is a law of progression. You might want to start with a headache or different things, right? That would be perfect. How many of you know things aren't perfect? You don't get to choose your battles a lot of times. Now, you can choose some, but some of them choose you. And whenever they choose you, you don't get to determine the size. They just kind of jump in your face at whatever size they want to come along. But... And is, is, how many of you were here whenever I had the dry race board and I talked about the elephant and the rabbit? Remember that? Okay. That's kind of how it needs to be in everything. What that means is this. You have the elephant, which the gestation period of an elephant is long. It's almost two years, I think, something like that. And an elephant and a rabbit is like days, you know. And so rabbits can reproduce much faster than elephants. Well, if you're coming for healing, let's say you need healing. And you need it, so you come down. We minister to you. You get healed. You go back. That's great. A couple of weeks later, something else comes along. You come down for healing. You get ministered to. You get healed. Awesome. And you do that. Now, you know that sickness and disease is going to try to be a part of your life. So while it's good to come and get ministered to and healed, what's also good is while you're in that process of coming and getting healed, that you're also building your own faith for healing so that you don't, every time something comes, you don't have to get in line. In other words, some things you do with yourself. I remember years ago when I was first started traveling and my kids, some, usually they travel with me a lot, but sometimes they didn't. And I remembered when I would go off and I'd get back and every time I almost dreaded coming back sometimes because when I came back, there's all these problems. And, you know, my, my kids were in the ministry with me, so they were saying, well, you got this problem, you got that problem going on, this thing, and, I, and it's like, and my daughter went to tell me, she goes, well, I said, well, what'd you tell them when some people ask? And they told her about a problem, and, and I said, well, what did you tell them? She said, well, I told them, as soon as my dad gets back, he'll take care of it. <laughs> and that's the way, that was a normal thing, and that's why sometimes I almost dreaded coming back, because I knew there were going to be a stack of problems that dad was going to have to handle. And then one time I went off on a trip and I came back in and I'm like, we got together and I said, okay, well, what's going on? Well, this thing happened, that thing happened, this is going on. And I said, okay, well, what do we need to do? Oh, don't worry about it, I handle it. I'm like, <gasps> you handled it? Yeah, we took care of it. I'm like, glory to God. <laughs> and I, I didn't mind coming home again. <laughs> right? Why? Because they grew. And through progression. Now, when they needed help, I was there for help. And there's still times when they would call while I was on a trip and everything's going on. Hey, what do you want to do? But I love it whenever I call my daughter on the phone and I say, um, you know, here, somebody will say something. We need this, this, this. And I say, well, what'd you tell them? Or, or a lot of times I'll start by saying, well, in that situation, let's do that. And she'll say, yeah, that's what I told them. 
Okay, well, in this situation over here, we need probably probably best if we do this. Yep, that's what I told her. And I'm like, good. All right, why? Because it's the same thing I would have told her to do. Why? Because she learned. She saw it over the years, and she learned. And instead of waiting for Dad to get home, she started taking care of it. That's growth. That's the principle of progression. She grew into it over time.